The Engineering Innovation Building will be a place where big ideas can come to life. We're going to have so many exciting projects all in the same place. The new building will give us an opportunity to educate engineers from the undergraduate level all the way to the graduate level in completely different ways. The building would really help bring in students and really help teach because when you can see something firsthand instead of just seeing it in a book, it really helps to actually learn the actual subject. The building is creating this new breed of faculty and researchers, graduate students, that are going to impact the rest of the world. We have so much more potential and that's what this building is really bringing in a sense is potential for students, employers, faculty, researchers, everyone involved. The Engineering Innovation Building is not just an addition, it's a transformation for our College of Engineering. It will present us with the opportunity to apply the new knowledge that we have in settings where students, faculty, and staff and our partners in the industries related to engineering work side by side. Engineers bring ideas to life. And we have fantastic engineering here on campus, but we've never had a building that brought everybody together and created this environment where we could have interdisciplinary ideas come to fruition. And that building is not going to be divided by departments, but divided by big ideas, big themes of research that will address those grand challenges. The rapidity of technology, I think, and the pace of technology is just going to increase. So collaboration and communication will be absolutely essential in getting these new ideas to market. When we have a center of mass, a center of people who are all working on research problems, and that's an accessible area to undergraduate students, then that gives us access to more people who really want to do good but don't know how to ask. All students can interact with each other, help each other out, have the room and the resources to really do the job that they're capable of and really excel on the club level, the senior design level, and then the personal level. It can help the students actually get internships and different job opportunities because a lot of the companies I even talked to, they wanted to see something where you were hands-on and you got into it and actually could go through the design process. There's going to be space for them to have their clubs, to create new automobiles, new ways of creating energy, of saving water, of building medical devices that are going to improve the quality of life. And they're gonna have the opportunity to see the way that things work nowadays. When you learn and do research in a silo, those opportunities to be good partners don't happen. You need to be together and work together side by side for those innovations to spring from those partnerships. It's gonna take everyone to make this vision reality. It's, it's not inexpensive, it's just crucial. And so it's in our collective best interest for all of us to do what we can. We are gonna to have to carefully pick strategies that yield results, not just for the university and this community, but for the world. And this is a facility that will really enable that to occur.